have you gotten a written response from your family with you coming out and sharing this story? Mm -hmm. Or like even help some of your other family members or friends back at home to start therapy? So I became vocal about it after I wrote the book. Guess who reached out to me on Facebook in my inbox? That young lady. My brother. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> My brother tells me, how do I get the book? Oh. You know, the thing about my brother is he's older than me. He's exactly 18 months older than me. He's the first son, and I wouldn't say his upbringing was the best because he's the first. Mm -hmm. First son, not first child. And he got all the brown, oh, he got all the accusations, you stole, you did, so he just, you know. And I found myself being defensive of him also growing up. Even when my mom passed, my siblings were expecting him to step up. I was like, uh-uh, we all had her as a mother. Oh, but he's the first son. I was like, what does that mean? So I found myself defending him so much that when I was dating Jane, that's not her real name, by the way. Mm -hmm. If your name's Jane here, I really don't care. <laughs> um, when I was dating Jane, when she visited Nigeria for a week and left, and you know, when you get on a call and talk to somebody and you're stressed out, and there was a time difference, so no excitement, um, but you're stressed. Mm -hmm. So one of those days, after a lot of back and forth, I sent a text to my family members. I don't know where it came from. I don't see any reason for her life, blah, 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 blah. I don't know where that came from. Mm. My dad calls. I didn't peek, so they started texting. Is it because I didn't pay your master's school? Like, no. Yeah. My younger sister, Venus, are you, are you still alive? Are you dead yet? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? My younger sister was like, are you still alive? Are you dead yet? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I ignored her. Then my brother says, what is wrong with you in the text? I look up to you. Mm -hmm. mm. So, and for him to reach out to me to ask for a book, it's not like usual, right? Because mental health is not something people talk about. Mind you, I've told my sisters I published a book. No, they don't, they didn't care. On my dad's birthday, I was like, hey, dad, I have a book. Didn't care. When my brother reaches out to me privately to ask for a copy of the book. And for me, it's, it's big. Um, it's, it's a big deal. So, they're not open. Even if, even a few of them that have reached out to me, even, so at the point after I started therapy, after July 2019, I became very vocal, you know, because that was when I got, the Susie was like, why don't you write a book? So because I couldn't write a book yet, I just started posting snippets on Facebook. I started doing 15 second videos on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And some people would reach out to me. My friends who are pastors would reach out to me who had issues with their relationship. I'll just give them tips. So they would rather do it secretly, but not like, in, in the open, but I want to make sure that changes. Yeah. And I'm not crying, tears are flowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs>